What's up Raiders, Bionic here with my next champion build video on Raid Shadow Legends. This one will be not about one, but two champions from the Dark Elves faction, Cold Heart. I was lucky enough to get not only two, but actually three of them during my four month playtime as a free to play player, and I decided to fully build two of them for now. Together they are very useful in the dungeons and against the clan boss, so this video will explain their gear and stats. Before I get started, I will mention that this is a build in progress, as some of the gear pieces need to be changed and fully leveled. Some of the stats are still a bit too low, but that will change with the upcoming rank 6 gear. And I've also mentioned this in my other videos, I still do not have a good healer, which means I have to use a 4 piece lifesteal set on both of them to have enough survivability for the higher level dungeons and against the clan boss. So for the gear and stats, they both have crit damage gloves, an attack percent chest, and obviously speed boots. The main stats are attack and accuracy, but crit rate and crit damage are also very important, and I'll explain why. Some players recommend using an HP percent chest for added survivability, but because I use them in level 14 and 15 dungeons, I need them to hit hard enough to help clear the minion waves before getting to the bosses. To compensate for the HP loss, I equipped uh, a flat HP and defense jewelry on both of them, which uh, provides that extra survivability. So to achieve this build, I used a 4-piece lifesteal set and a 2-piece speed set on both of them. Like I said before, the gear has not been fully leveled to 16 yet, because I know I will be changing some of the pieces uh, when the rank 6 gear is released. For now, they have roughly 50% total crit rate, which is low, very low in fact, but if I get an extra 20%, I think that would be good. Uh, they have roughly 135% total crit damage, which could be better, but the gloves aren't maxed out and I haven't even touched the Great Hall bonus yet. Their speed are a little different, but that's because one of them has a good roll on her banner, therefore she has 173 and the other one has 162. More speed will probably always be better but only if all my other champions increase as well, and this doesn't seem to be enough as I cannot do stage 15 on the Fire Knight's Castle on auto yet. Their accuracy is okay, but they still need more for the Brutal and the Nightmare Clan boss. My goal is to hit 160 or more when the new gear comes out. Accuracy is very important for them because all three skills have debuffs, uh, A3 being the 100% turn meter depletion, which seems to depend on accuracy as well to work. So as for their skills, they have all been maxed with uh, rare skill tomes. And as for the masteries, they have been maxed out, which is crucial to maximizing their efficiency, especially once you get Giant Slayer. Instead of going over them one by one, I will simply explain why I've chosen this loadout. Like I said before, the idea was to maximize my damage in dungeons and against the clan boss. Therefore, for the offense masteries, I selected the ones that provided a damage or turn meter increase, but I'm still not certain this is the best option. On the support side, I chose the ones that increase accuracy and speed. The only difference between both of them right now is Life Drinker instead of a Whirlwind of Death, as I hoped it would help against the Fire Knight. Lastly, for the Great Hall bonuses. Since part 4 of the mission requires you that you level a Great Hall bonus to 10, I decided to focus on the Void Accuracy, which has been really helpful for my Cold Hearts. I would probably start working on the Crit Damage after I am done, which should be today. So there it is guys, my current Cold Heart setup, which is far from being complete, but since I've had many requests to post my build, I thought I would provide an overview of where I'm at. All in all, I think Coldheart is a fantastic rare champion, and the best part is that she is void. They can do roughly 1.8 to 2.6 million per key against the Brutal Clan boss with this setup, and like I mentioned before, they've allowed me to take on all level 14 and 15 dungeons. Once I have a substantial gear upgrade for them, I will make another video, and perhaps by then I might even have the third one ready as well. I also want to take the time to mention that I am still free to play, even though some people have commented that I am not. After 4 months of gameplay, I still do not have a legendary, but at least I was extremely lucky and got 3 cold heart, and so I am using them as best I can to progress in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found this helpful, if you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. Later.